China has reported another decline in imports and exports, although last month's losses returned to single digits. The authorities are asking analysts to look at the volume of imports rather than just the value. Dampened by weak consumer spending and flagging overseas demand, China's trade report card for August was again far from satisfactory. According to customs data, exports fell by 8.8 percent to 285 billion US dollars last month. It was the fourth consecutive month of decline, but represented a marked improvement from the 14.5 percent plunge in July. The key driver for China's economic growth has now fallen for nine of the past 12 months. Even after factoring in surges in March and April, exports dipped 5.6 percent for the first eight months of this year. Breaking down the figures by region, exports to the United States, China's largest trading partner, fell 9.5 percent in August, while shipments to the European Union and ASEAN nations recorded double-digit declines. Imports, meanwhile, fell by 7.3 percent in August to $217 billion, narrowing from the 12.4 percent drop in the previous month. The trade surplus of $68.4 billion was 13 percent down from the same period last year. Customs pointed out that big-ticket purchases such as crude oil, coal and soybeans had grown in volume. But a trend was not duly reflected in the value, as prices of the commodities all fell. Relations between China and Australia have improved further, following talks in Jakarta between Premier Li Chang and Australian Prime Minister Anthony Albanese. I told Premier Li that we would continue to cooperate where we can, disagree where we must and engage in our national interest. Uh, I also confirmed uh, the invitation from President Xi uh, that I would accept uh, an invitation and will visit China uh, later this year uh, at a mutually agreeable time. The cooperation and engagement between our two countries is always improved when there is dialogue. The last time an Australian Prime Minister visited China was in 2016. A high-level Australian trade delegation is currently in Beijing to meet counterparts, and a sign that ties are on the mend. Relations reached rock bottom in 2020 amid trade curves and political spats, but have since improved, most recently with China lifting tariffs on Australian barley.